At the top of the page, it says, use common words, give one point at a time, look for feedback, ask for feedback. You can't look for it if you're over the telephone, but this is very powerfully over the telephone also. Now, a conviction step, and if you've had sales training, is brought up with a fact, a bridge, a benefit, an emotional benefit. Now, don't run out the door because you've had sales training. You have had this in the past. I want to show you how to use it in a very powerful way. Here's what it is. A fact is a true statement about yourself, your company, or your products. That's what a fact is. It's a true statement about yourself, your company, or your products. Okay. Now, as salespeople in the mortgage business, we can sell three things. We can sell ourselves, we can sell our company, or we can sell our products. Of those three things, which one is sold the most? Product. Why? It's the safest. The yielder doesn't like to be rejected, so they talk about product. Everybody got it? If they don't like the product, managers, raise your hand. How many times has somebody run up to you and said, they don't like our product? What's it say to the manager? You're protecting yourself. You're safe, but the product's wrong. Right, everybody? And the next person doesn't even bring it up because they're selling the heck out of it, trying to protect themselves. Everybody with me? So we sell product till we're blue in the face to people, and they end up going somewhere else because they're so confused they don't know what to do. I'm going to show you how to sell yourself and the product. The bridge ties the fact to the benefit. Just write down ties, ties the two together. Okay. The benefit is what the fact actually does for or means to the customer. But we're going to go much more powerfully than that. Okay. And if you want to come up and fill this out later, I'll be glad to put it back up here for you. The facts, the truth, the truth, by the way, that's really all it is, is the truth about the three things we sell ourselves, come your product. The bridge ties the fact, the benefit. The benefit is what the fact does to our means to the customer. That's all it is. But this is much more powerful, and here's why. Is owning, is buying a house emotional? Yeah. Uh, probably the most emotional thing you'll do. Even more so than a car, because we get over that watch, whatever. Very emotional. The other thing is this, is telling my financial life story. Financial life story to a total stranger 2,000 miles away emotional. It's very emotional. This business is so based on emotion, it's unbelievable. So I'm going to give you the emotions in a minute. Time, money, security, privacy, comfort, control, prestige, freedom, the word qualify. Don't be concerned about it. You'll see them. But here's what happens. If you look down to the next page, it says emotional benefit anchor. See that down there? Okay. Now, we learned before that an anchor was something, right, that has happened to you in the past. 90% of them are negative. Is everybody with me? Okay. Everybody look up here. You will talk to people someday that have perfect credit. Yes or no? In our business, they're known as an A paper. I want to warn you about it. They're the hardest person to close because you will work with them for days and days and days, and they'll go to one of the big establishments that will give it to them for free because they want them. The 720 FICO is the hardest on up, is the hardest one to close. They don't want to pay an extra dollar here, two dollars here. Don't get me wrong. They're great buyers. You make money on them. A lot of people make a ton of money on them, but they're the hardest to close. Okay. Why? They have no pain. Is everybody with me? Back to this again. When you start going through the business, you'll also bump into people. It could be self. It doesn't have to be bad credit. It could be self-employed now, right? Orange County is loaded with self-employed. Right, everybody? They don't fit that little thing that we talk about. And remember, they have to pay more for what they get. Yes or no? But they're not bad people, you know, grace of God go I. Something's happened to them, and it's happened to a lot of people, especially this last two years. It's been a disaster for some people. So, hey, they're for the grace of God go I. But remember, a lot of these people are in a lot of what? Pain right now. And they'll always remember pain the most. Anybody ever been in a car accident? You just went there. You just, you go there for so fast, right? Right? Everybody had a boarded takeoff, right? <laughs> no, you see what I'm saying? They'll never forget a boarded takeoff. I can go, I can go on and on. Everybody ever been burned? I don't have to, you know, anybody ever bit into a lemon? Back your mouth just watered. Have no control of it. Happens so fast. Things that people remember. And here's what's important. Write down three words. Why people buy. People buy because of emotional benefits. I'm going to give them to you right now. And before I do that, I will role play everything for you. <clears throat> okay, so here's what I want you to do. Everybody, put your pen and pencil down and close your eyes. It's 8 o'clock this evening. Put yourself in this picture, excuse me. It's 8 o'clock this evening. You're sitting in your living room at home, and you just finished eating pizza. Okay. Everybody, smell the pizza. See the TV. See the pictures on the wall. Children, toys out. See your husband, wife, friends over. You hear your doorbell. Now, role play this with me, if you will. Mentally walk over to your front door and reach out with your right hand. Everybody reach out. Reach out. 
You feel the doorknob, you either turn it or squeeze it. Mine, I just got a hole in the door. I just pulled it open. Okay, everybody, turn it or squeeze it and open the door. Okay, everybody look right up here. Look right up here. I'm standing in your doorway and I'm selling dictionaries. What did you just say to yourself? Go die. Okay, everybody in this room just said what? Say it. Go die. Now, here's my point to you. We have a lot of yielders in the room. 70% of you will be yielders. Okay, that's a choice you're going to have to make. I have those tendencies too. Back to this again. You just rejected me because I'm a total stranger. Isn't that right? So here's my point to you. We always reject total strangers initially because we're going through the measuring stage. Right, everybody? What's your number, everybody? Ten. So your answer is a 10. Why? I'm still measuring you. Don't answer as a 5. I can get that at Costco. Right? So what's your number, everybody? If you're not getting some rejection, you're not making calls. Why? You're going back to the same people all the time. And new people call. Yes, everybody? Some call you. That's not as hard. But keep in mind, they're measuring you when they first call you. So what's your number, everybody? Ten. Ten. But remember, if you're not getting rejection, you're not opening accounts, you're not prospecting, you're not going places, everybody has to measure everybody because trust isn't out there anymore like it used to be. Now,